Hello guys, in this video we'll be setting up an NPC character who will react to our punches and also setting up a punching bag. I'd also like to thank you guys for the support you've been sending me recently, it's been real motivating and if you have any video ideas just comment them below. This will be a continuation from the previous punching video that I made so I'll leave the link in the description to the first part and all the assets that I'm going to be using in this video. So first we're going to want to import the punching bag, so just click import and now I'll be in Unreal Engine. And next we're going to import the animation, so we just go to the mannequin animations and then we'll just drag in the get hit animation and let's go into normal attach it to our mannequin. So now we'll have our animation for when our player gets hit. And then we want to right click on this and create and create an animation montage. And now we have our hit animation. So first we're going to set up our NPC, so I'm just going to get our third person character and control C and control V and I'm just going to rename him. NPC so that we know what it's called and then if we go to our NPC and viewport and to his capsule collision we can see that it's using a pawn collision so we're gonna make use of that so if I go to my viewport for my third person character in my right hand collision it is currently at buckle we're just gonna change that to custom and make it so that it overlaps pawn so we'll just click overlap pawn and now we can set up him reacting to our punch. So if we click on the capsule component, we can add on component, we can overlap, cast to our third person character, which will be. And as our third person character, we can see, we can get the right hand uh, collision that we made previously. And then we'll check if it is overlapping. So we'll drag off it and write it's overlapping actor. And the other actor will do self because we'll be the NPC and we'll get a reference to itself. And if our collision is overlapping our actor, then we're going to drag off this and make a branch. So our right hand collision will be overlapping this NPC. And if that is true, then we are just going to write do once. So it's going to just do this event, everything after the do once, once. And what it will do is we will drag off completed play animation montage and the anim montage is the get hit montage that we just created and then i'm just going to drag off this and add a delay so we can only make him do the animation once and the delay will be one second so it'll take one second to reset this and i'll just double click that so it's a bit tidier and if we compile and click viewport and scroll down to his element zero. I'm just gonna change it to red so that I can tell the difference between my play and the NPC. And if we drag on our NPC and click play, and run up to him, when we right click him, we can see he reacts. Let's just have a simple uh, set up an NPC that will react to our punches. So next we're gonna set up a punching bag. So if we just go to where we imported our punching bag and then right click and look for blueprint class and actor, I'm just gonna call this my punching bag. And we just double click to go inside and just expand that window. We can add component and look for static mesh. And you just call this hang and then for the static mesh, I'll look for the hanging part of my punching bag. And then what with the selected, we can add component and static mesh. And I'll just call this bag. And for the static mesh, it will be the bag part of the punching bag. So then if we scroll down to this, we want to make sure it simulates physics. And if you click mass and kg, we can control like how heavy it is, but I'm just going to uncheck this. And if we go to collision presets, currently set block everything, but I'm going to change it to custom and make it ignore our camera and ignore our pawn. So it's only our punch collision that it can interact with. Then I'm going to go to add component and look for physical constraint. And with this selected, if we just uh, scroll up, for component name one, I'm just gonna make it hang and it will reference our hang and component name two. I'm just gonna select back and it will reference our back. And with the physics constraint selected, if we just drag this up, this will be the pivot point at, from where it like rotates from. So you just wanna drag it up a bit. And then if we scroll down, on swing motion one, you wanna set locked, that will lock it in the Z axis. And swing motion two and twist motion, you just wanna set limited so we can move it in the X and Y. S sorry, yeah, in the X and Y. And then if we go to our hang and collision presets, we want to set it to overlap all so it doesn't mess with the simulate physics of the bag. And if you click compile, and then just drag this punching bag in, 
and click play. And if we just punch it, we can now have a puncher bag which we can interact with. So maybe I put my physics constraint a bit low, you may wanna move it up a bit. And to change how much the bag like moved, if we uh, go to the swing two limit and twist limit, if we just make this 10 and 10 and click on par and just close this, we'll be able to see now when we punch the bag, it'll be move a lot less. That will just happen if you wanna like limit it. And that's all. If you enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.